Hi, hi everyone. Today topic IP version 4 addresses. In this video we learn IP addresses ranges, classes and how to convert from binary to decimals. Let's start with this. Okay. First there is a terminologies used in this video. Bit. A bit is a one digit. One digit either one or zero. Byte. A byte is a consist of, of eight bits. 8 bits equal to 1 byte. Octet, an octet made up of 8 bits in just an ordinary 8 bit binary number. In this video, the term byte and octets are completely interchangeable. Network address, this is the designation used in routing to send packet to a remote network. For example, 10.0.0.0, 172.16.0.0 and 192.168.10.0. These are the network addresses and the last one is a broadcast address the broadcast address is used by applications and hosts to send information to all hosts on a network okay here here is a ip variant 4 address an ip variant 4 address is a 32 bit long and these bits are divided into four or section referred to an octet or a bytes and four octets sum up with 32 bits okay and the IP address are unique and universal. The IP address represents a dotted decimal. Here is a dotted decimals, and uh, we also represent in a binary format. Here is a binary format. This actually is a 32 bit. So you can see here, it's a 8 bits. Here is a 8 bits. Here is a 8 bit, and here is a 8 bit. And 8 bits represent one byte, and we also call one octet. So here is 30. 2 bits, 4 bytes and also called 4 octets. The address space of IP version 4 is 2 raised to power 32 is equal to more than 4 billion IPs. Okay, let's start with the conversion of these binary address to decimal. Okay, how we'll do? Here is we, uh, I'm going to represent 32 bit binary address. So each have 1 byte. Okay. It's total 4 octets and 32 bits. So what we have to do? We have to use power of 2 for every bit to convert for a decimal. Let's start with this octet. So here is 1 octet, 1 byte and these are the bits with this octet okay so we have to start with every bit with the conversion with that power of 2 so here is a 2 2 raised to power 0 from left to right we have to okay so here is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so let's start with the conversion so 2 raised to 0 power means 1 so we are going to 1 multiply with 1 and the equal is 1 and the same way 2 raised to power 1 is equal to 2 and we multiply with 1 is equal to 2 in the same way 2 raised to power 2 equal to 4 multiply 1 this one and the answer is 4 and 2 raised to power 3 equal to 8 and multiply with this one 1 the answer is 8 in the same way 2 raised to power 4 16 multiply with 1 the answer is 16 and now 2 raised to power 5 is 32 multiply with this bits it's a 0 so 32 multiply 0 is equal to 0 the same way 2 raised to power 6 is 64 multiply 0 for this 0 actually the answer is 0 in the same way the last one 2 raised to power 7 is equal to 128 multiply 0 this 0 and the answer is 0 in the end we do sum up all these numbers and the answer should be 31 okay so this this octets or this byte represent as a 31 so here is how we convert from binary to decimal okay so this is the way you we, we can convert in the same way this binary is equal to 128 and this binary equal to 11, this binary equal to 3 and this binary is 31. So this is the way how we convert from 
binary to decimals okay next uh, is the ip 4 classes and blocks so very important we have to discuss this okay here is the classes uh, there is basically five classes class a on a class a the first octet range is from 1 to 126 okay and the default net, uh, subnet mass is 255.0.0.0 or we represent it as slash 8 forward slash 8 and number of blocks is here is 120 128 block for this range okay and each block represent more than 16 million ips the format of the I, uh, class a ips the first octet is a network id and remaining three octets is called host so okay so this is network id is the fix then host we can uh, play with this host okay in a class a in a class b range started from first oct octet is 128 to 191 and uh, the subnet default mask is 255.255.0.0 or also we represent as a slash 16 and the number of blocks with this range is uh, more than 16k and uh, the maximum host is 64k for each block for each block means 64k multiply for these numbers so here is the total number of ips you can when you multiply this blocks to this one okay and you can see here uh, the here is a first two octet is a network id this is a fix and these two are host we uh, we can change host so two octets and two two octets for network id networks and two octets for host in the same way the class c is first range is from 192 to 223 default subnet mass is 255255255.0 or also represent as slash 24 so number of block is 20971552 okay and maximum host of each block is 255 so we have to do total so we have to multiply for this one okay to for this and then we have a total number of blocks and i maximum host so we can see here there is first three uh, octets is reserved for network id and the last one octet is a host so this is a network id and class c have a last octet is a host and remaining uh, there is a class d is started from 224 to 239 is basically used for multicasting or and the other one is class e starting from 240 to 255 so it's, it is reserved for research I hope you understand the all the ranges of up your new four classes. So here is one more thing we have to explain the private address space. We have a private addresses for each class A and B and C. The private addresses normally we use whenever we are going to make a local area network private local area network. We can use these IP addresses. So in a class A from 10.0.0 through 10.255.255.255 this is a private range we can use in our local private network in the same way class b started from 172.16.0.0 through 172.31.25255 this range we can use as a private ips so in a class c 192.168.0.0 through 192.168.255.255.255 this class uh, use reserve for private ips in a class c okay and the one other thing i have to mention is there is a one ip 127.0.0.1 is a use for loopback ip normally whenever you're going to check your your own pc card you have to do ping with 127.0.0.1 you can see reply back from your if your card is working then it's main uh, uh, 127.0.0.1 is pinging from your pcs okay and one more thing I have to uh, clear here, uh, all these private uh, IPs are not routable to the internet, okay. Other than this, other than remaining IPs are all public IPs and routable to the internet. And we need to buy these IP whenever we use. Normally your ISP, your internet service provider provide you these IPs, not these public IPs, okay. So one last thing is here is a APIPA. Windows provides what is called automatic private IP addressing. Okay, 
With API IPA, clients can automatically self-configure an IP address and subnet mask, which is the minimum information needed for host to communicate with when a DHC server is not available. The IP address range from API IPA is 169.254.20.1 through 169.254.55.254. The client also configure itself with the default class B subnet with 255.255.0.0. Uh, this is happen whenever you are not going to connect with the network and don't assign your uh, uh, manually IP or you even don't get any IP from your DSCP. So in this situation, your windows automatically configure this IP, but it is not working. Uh, I hope you understand all the things regarding IP version 4. Uh, if you like this video, kindly uh, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this thank you thank you so much